you know, do you think we're getting close to, and I don't, I'm not saying this hyperbolically because people are saying it all Civil war? <laughs> Civil war, yeah. yeah. I've said that numerous times. Yeah, yeah I've said that numerous times. I've, I've thought that a long time. Uh, I think they're going to push the wrong button pretty soon, and they're one of these days, and all hell's going to break loose. Civil war, they want civil war. Who's that? The globalists. Let's go there. Let's talk about the globalists. Biden's not punching this this down. Obama and Tor, Soros and all these other guys that people don't even talk about. We know who they are now. Might be on a process of civil war, but it ain't gonna last long if we do go to a civil war. This is treason. This is a hijacking of our country. This is war. And I hope and pray it gets resolved before we use guns. I really do. I do not want to see bloodshed in America. What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard Ojeda here, and this is a hijacking of our country. This is war, and I hope and pray it gets resolved before we use guns. Flat earther and failed gubernatorial candidate Candace Taylor was the one hijacking the airwaves on a frank speech broadcast. But we're at war right now, a war for our freedom. Freedom of speech was just trampled on in Georgia. We had that d DA in Fulton County that just filed 19 indictment, 19 people indictments. She had some of the indictments, people had 10 indictments. So she just filed, filed all these charges on electors, on President Trump, on his attorneys, on innocent people who were questioning with their, they have a right to question right. the validity of an election with as many issues as we had in 2020. We have all the evidence but nobody will hear it. Taylor says that the Trump indictment in Georgia is treason and that she doesn't want to see America's getting killed in a civil war, but that's exactly where it seemed that she was leading the audience with her inflammatory speech. And if something does not give and the people do not take back control and get these crooked people out, we will be in a very bad war. We're at war now. It's information war. It's an information war. And I hope that it stays there and we get it resolved. Taylor said that she didn't want to see bloodshed, but that we were at war for our freedoms, our right to free speech, and that if people didn't stand up now and take it all back, we'd be in the worst situation. Everything that she said sounded like a threat, meant to stir up division and hate. Taylor cast a load of hate on New York District Attorney Alvin Bragg and Fulton County District Attorney Fannie Willis as leading the charge against Donald Trump. She tried to vilify the law and portray Donald's criminal indictments as a weaponization of justice against an innocent man. The question that all of these brain-dead Trump loons keep asking is, how can this guy who's completely innocent keep getting in trouble? Yet none of these clowns will read the damn indictment or even admit that Trump did anything wrong. What Candace Taylor and the rest of the GOP jackaloons in the media are appealing to is the ignorance of their followers. She's not asking viewers to do the research or find out the facts. She's stoking viewers to react out of defiance and anger. Did Candace Taylor backpedal enough to excuse herself from any liability if her words spawned acts of terrorism? She had to clarify to her co-host that it was an information war that we were in, but she really hoped it didn't escalate. Which one is it, Candace? Is your moronic rhetoric meant to stir up division and hate among the undereducated audience, urging them to pick up arms? Or is it meant to calm folks down and educate them with the facts? If anyone causes anyone else harm to person or property, you should be held accountable to the fullest extent of the law. Candace Taylor is an absolute moron, and that is an absolute fact. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.